Hello users and welcome back to Path of the Exiles. And uh continuing right on in the same recording session as last time. This music is Mega Man 8. This is the Frostman stage. And uh yeah, welcome back to Path of the Exiles, y'all. I'm in exile. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, I'd like for you to join my path. But yeah, so, I'm in the same recording session, but it's like a few hours later. I watched, uh, a bunch of Spongebob with my familia. It was pretty fun. Pretty cool. Again, if you haven't watched the previous episodes of this series for the Harvest League, I'd recommend doing so. This is kind of like kind of a, an extemporaneous sort of vlog kind of thing. And uh, that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm getting drunk. It's 11 p.m. now. And uh, I'm going to I'm going to continue playing this all night. I'm going to play this for a while. So I'm going to do a bunch of videos tonight. I'm excited for it. But yeah, um, again, this is all dated. I'm recording this on June 21st. So forever, if there's ever somebody categorizing my videos in the future, making a historical archive and timeline, June 21st, 11 p.m. Pretty fucking drunk right now. I decided to smoke a little bit with the family, watch SpongeBob. Pretty fun. I get along with my family, it's a lot of fun. What am I doing? Is that? Uh, I feel like some of these passives are changed, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't remember. But yeah, a little bit. I, I guess maybe I'll spend this video talking about my living situation. That's something I don't talk about often, if at all. I don't think I've ever talked about it. Well, really in any sort of in-depth way. But, um... Yeah, basically, my whole situation is up until August of last year or so. That's the last time I moved. It's almost been a year now, which is pretty crazy think about but um August of last year I moved out to North Carolina because my previous living session uh situation was not so great and so I was basically trying to find somewhere to to hitch off to and uh my brother said that moving here would be pretty good so now then I moved to North Carolina and I've, I grew up, you know, my, uh, my brother was a half-brother, and so I didn't really see him too often growing up, but, uh, you know, now I live with him, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, like I said before, I grew up pretty lonely, single mother, I was kind of like cut off from family for the most part. Um, and it wasn't until last year that I actually ever lived with anyone else that I've ever talked to in any capacity. Um, and it's weird because, you know, I get along with my family quite well and everything goes pretty well. And it's, it's very interesting going without this kind of, uh, my entire life. And then it's like every night or so it's like, oh, I can just hang out with the family and we can have fun and do stuff. Play video games, watch television. It's just interesting. And that's been something that I really enjoy over the last uh, 10 months now.
Yeah. Yeah, it's Path of Exile night, but I decided to hang out downstairs and have a little fun time. But I'm still planning on recording a bunch more. It's only 11. I plan on staying up until like 2 or 3. I'm gonna have an absolute, uh, an absolute evening, as they say. But yeah, um... I've got an air conditioner and I turned it on when I came in here. Yo, look at my eyeballs, man. <laughs> I was just looking at the camera feed on OBS. Yo, look at my fucking eyeballs. Dude, that's one of my favorite shits. Yo, hold up. I'm gonna take a fucking a picture of myself. Yo, <laughs> this is this is a video I probably shouldn't upload, right? Like this is like the thing. It's like I am really fucking wasted right now, and I shouldn't be recording YouTube videos, but like I am, and that's what's wild about it. Taking a photograph of myself. Fuck yes. Documenting this moment for the scrapbooks. Anyway. Hell fucking yes. Again, one of the things that I want to reiterate is you should, without a doubt, watch the other videos from the Harvest League before you watch this one. This is all a continuum. I'm all recording this in the same session. And the reason I say that is because I've given a lot of disclaimers that I'd like for you to follow if you'd be so kind. But yeah, I'm really drunk. I'm a lot drunker than I was last time. I'm like two and a half more drinks in. And I also smoked a lot of marijuana. And again, I feel fucking great. And I just want to say that. Just for that, the, you know. I highly recommend watching these videos while you're intoxicated. I don't know, it's just... one of those things you just should if there's any kind of vice that you do and if you don't that's fine but if you got anything this is like one of those this is a video series I'd recommend because I want to talk about some stuff going forward like what the hell is going on um Fuck me. My brain's really slow. You should watch. The problem is I've got music on, so it's kind of like hard to watch this on like 2x speed because then you can't really jam to the music. I mean, I guess you could. Give it a shot. I watch a lot of videos on 2x speed. But, um. Yeah. Anyway, um, I'm trying to think of what I was saying and what I was trying to, the point I was trying to get across. Yeah, I was talking about the family situation. Yeah, the family situation's good. I live in a nice, loving family. I enjoy interacting with them. It's not a burden in any capacity. And for those of you that have been around me in any sort of at least since 2017. 
my living situation prior to this was not great. Definitely not great. And this is the first time in my entire life that I've ever lived in direct proximity to people that have I uh, I've gotten along with and it's just again it's it's, it's part of the, the mood you know it's like I'm the happiest I've ever been in my entire life even if the entire world is falling apart and again June 21st as I'm recording this gotta be because who knows what's gonna fucking happen but uh, even though the world is falling apart I'm the happiest I've ever been and there's so many contributing factors to that and it's just like helped me understand the more important things when it comes to a lot of stuff living in a situation where I feel uncomfortable going out of my room for fear of abuse or whatever that's very comforting to be out of that situation let me get a drink here it's very comforting to go from that situation to no longer in that situation let me tell you And, um, I, I still don't understand how this thing works. I really don't. But yeah, uh, I don't know. Again, I grew up an only child. Um, and I don't know. If you're an only child or you still are, you live alone or your family dynamic ain't great. Um. Yeah, I mean, it really, it really does mean a lot. As far as mental health goes. I would say it's, like, maybe the most important factor. Because, like, I've never felt genuine happiness. Like, literally ever. Like, maybe since I was, like, fucking ten years old. And maybe that's why I just play video games all day like a fucking loser. I'm just trying to go... F I'm chasing the high of being ten years old again. But, I mean, um... But it's like, it's like, this year has been like fucking, even though everything has been shitty. And again, the, the first four months of this year, I was like, you know, at least the first three months. I dedicated like all of that time to the Bernie campaign. And that was, you know, needless to say, that was very disappointing. Um... But like ever, like, you know, again, April was like kind of wishy-washy. And you know, like I almost fell into like my old habits. My old habits of, um, you know, just being sad and like lonely and fucking cringy. Like I was before I moved to North Carolina with, uh, with my brother and other family. Um. But then, like, you know, the last half of April, I kind of was like, you know what? I'm not gonna... I can't afford to fall into this loop of depression and anger and, uh... and fear. And... You know, just un unsatisfactory living this scenario again apologies I'm really drunk right now this is just a soliloquy I think if I've used that word correctly which I probably haven't of of cringe but yeah um my living situation has definitely contributed and again I, I've never felt better like even drinking alcohol like I had a pretty bad problem with alcohol about two years, like a year ago and then two years ago. 2018 and 2019, I was kind of like teetering. Um, 
not good. In summary. Oof. But it's like, I'm at the point now where I can drink and I'm fine and I just feel good about it and it's fun. It doesn't make me sad. Even talking about things doesn't make me sad. Like, I'm just coasting. I'm fucking feeling good. And that's something I find pretty cool. Um, because I've had, like, this game, for example, a lot of the time when I played Path of Exile, I've been depressed. I've been feeling terrible. Like, some of the, my worst bouts of, like, suicidal behavior have been playing this game, but I can play it and I'm fine. I have an uh, incredible ability to kind of, like, rewrite the way I feel about certain things and to avoid attributing things negatively. I do that with music as well. Music and video games and movies and TV shows and stuff. I try to like rewrite memories a lot so that I can enjoy things without like making it uh, feel like I'm going through like... I like to create a lot of positive experiences with the things I like. So even if I experience something for the first time in a negative environment, I want to be able to experience it in a good environment. And then if I ever experience it again subsequently, I can think about the good things instead of the bad. This is a really embarrassing video. I understand that, but I'm drunk. Who cares, right? thinking of the next topic. Give me a sec. Hold up. Okay, um, beyond the topic of uh, depression and bad family environments. I know there's a lot of people in my audience that could potentially be dealing with distress and strife. Uh, I know I've got a decent chunk of people that probably live with families that if they understood something about them would hate them, whatever it may be. Or families that just plain don't get along. Uh, honestly, I don't know how I really kind of dealt with that. I just kind of did. One of the things that it's like in recovery, so to speak, like being in a better mental place in my life. My room is getting very cold for my air conditioner and I love it. But being in a better spot in my life, one thing I've noticed is like... God, it's real. I keep forgetting at the start of my sentences. It's really ridiculous. Um... Fuck me. What was I saying? But yeah, I, I, I don't quite... I really need to start thinking about this more. I'd like to provide like 
mental health advice. That's one thing I'd love to do on my channel, but I just don't know how. Hmm. I don't know. If anyone has questions, let me know. I'll try to respond. One thing is, again, if you ask me a question or leave a comment on this video, obviously, if I reply to that comment, I'm not going to be in the same state of mind. And what that means is, like, that's the one thing where it's like, I kind of wish I was streaming. Maybe someday I'll try to do that again. That would be beneficial to do like a stream where I'm like completely fucked up and then just do like a live questionnaire. I should do that. Yo, dude, holy shit. Every like time I burp, I feel like I'm gonna puke. Yeah, this video is probably gonna end in the next five minutes or so. Again, one of the core things I want to stress in videos like this, where it's like, if you actually watch this garbage, like this pure waste of your time fucking garbage, like I don't want to sugarcoat it, this is shit. There's a lot more important and interesting things you can do than watch this fucking YouTube video. Like this is garbage, dude. But, like, this is straight up shit. But it's like, again, the project here. The project here is to provide an insight into my brain. An insight into my brain is the number one goal. Is I want to document this, this bizarre functionality. Yo, I'm majorly fucked up. Whew. Lord have mercy, let me take another drink. Ah. Uh. In the next video, I'm going to talk more about my streaming and about the video games the things I would like to do in relation to those. Real quick more though, on uh, the subject of family situations. If anybody does live in a situation that is uncomfortable to them and they feel trapped, I'm always open to uh, communicate now I might not be able to like you know immediately on demand um please be mindful of that but like uh, if you ever want to have a, a you know communication session with me about a specific subject that uh, you feel like I may have experience going through based on this extremely unintelligible rambling if you ever feel like that, like, let me know. I'd like to be able to help people. Like, again, that's the, the goal. The goal of my existence is to profoundly impact someone else in such a way that they can do something that I was never capable of doing. And if I can help someone, regardless of the age or whatever, if you're just in a rough spot, I'll try my best. And again, I'm not a professional. I'm a shit fucker. That's gotta be very much so understood. But, um... Again, if you, there, if you feel like there's any similarities of experience here, any issue that we both potentially have uh, a crossroad or an intersection on that you would like assistance on, hit me up.
But yeah, I think the next video I'm gonna give a little bit more lore. I'm gonna talk a lot more about the uh, the gaming stuff. And I also want to talk a little bit about characters. Like I want to do a lot of different videos in different characters. Yeah, I want to talk about a lot of stuff. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it. Again, the music, Mega Man 8 Frostman. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, field them my way. I'll see you later.